Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, yesterday I began to share with you on how to understand the voice of the Lord. Now, I told you yesterday, I said that's the only way you can deal with false teaching or false teachers. You see, you can't deal with them any other way. Now, the best way to deal with a counterfeit product is to make the original available. See, not, not, not to chase after the people that are making the fake. No, no, no. Just make the original available and affordable. Praise God. What happens? Why would someone go for the fake? Now, that, that's what I'm trying to do to you. The reason you have false teachers is because many people don't know the original. See, now, because many people feel, oh, my, 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 my pastor is a man of God, so anything my pastor says, that is wrong. Now, yes, we have faith in, 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 in what God has called men to do. We have faith in the, grace upon God's, in, in the grace of God upon men's lives, you see, because we know them. But even that, our faith was never, we were never commanded to have faith in men. No, ma listen, even the best of men, how wonderful they are, we were never commanded to have faith in them. Jesus clearly stated and said, have faith in God. Praise God. Actually, um, Jeremiah told us, told us this. He says, look, cost is every man who trusts in men. Did you see that? Now, I told you something yesterday. I said Jesus organized the way the way the church was set up was under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. That was how Jesus set up the church. Because remember, he told the disciples, say, look, don't go anywhere until you be endued with power from on high. He told them, wait for the promise of the Father. He <laughs> just stay in Jerusalem until the Holy Spirit comes. Why? Because, oh, you need to understand this. Because without the Holy Spirit, you are going to get nowhere. He didn't say, Peter, now you are the leader of the church, so you've got to lead them aright. No, no, no. Now, he, he, yes, he told them, he told Peter, I remember when, when Peter went back to fishing, he came and said, Peter, do you love me? Feed my sheep, feed my lamb. But you see, he told them, and, and, and Peter too was under this instruction that they should all wait in Jerusalem until the Holy Spirit comes. And Jesus said something in John chapter 15, no, verse, chapter 14, verse 26. And it says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. And bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said to you. See, the job of the Holy Spirit is to what? Teach you all things. And that's what Jesus said. Meaning, the Holy Spirit is the one that has been given the authority to be our teacher. Now, if the Holy Spirit is not teaching you, oh, listen. We, we, we are going to get into things this, this, this week. You know, but, but in all, I want you to get this straight. If you are a child of God, then the Holy Spirit is your teacher. And if you are not listening or hearing the voice of the Holy Spirit teach you, then your being a child of God is still under question. I'm telling you the truth. Because now, imagine you are one of the early disciples that Jesus was speaking to. And he says, wait for the promise of the Father. Then the question I ask you is this. Have you received the promise of the Father? He says, yes, I, I've received the Holy Spirit. I can speak in tongues. No, 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 no. He, he didn't send the Holy Spirit to just come and make you speak in tongues. Look at the thing. Look at what Jesus said. He will what? Teach you all things. So, how many things have you learned from the Holy Spirit? No. No, it, it, you know, it, it, it's even amazing hearing believers talk and say, hey, but, but, you know, I remember sharing with someone and they say, but uh, uh, how many Christians hear the Holy Spirit talk to them? Huh? Oh! I said, no. The question we should really ask is, how many Christians do we have? 
You are not a Christian if you don't hear the Holy Spirit. How are you a Christian? No, no. Truly. How are you a Christian? Yeah, but, but I got born again. How do you know you're born again? I went out for the altar call. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus didn't say as many as come out for altar call, they shall be born again. That's not what he said. He said, oh, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from there, thou shalt be saved. Now, no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. What do you understand from that? It means for you to confess Jesus as Lord. Listen, confession is not say after me. No. It's not what the pastor said this after me. No, no, no. Confession is this is my realization. This is what I have come to know. This is what I have come to understand. This is me. Jesus is Lord. And, and Romans tells us no one can do that except it's the Holy Spirit that brings that understanding to him. Actually, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 says that. Praise God. So listen, if you truly believe that Jesus is Lord, then it means the Holy Spirit has begun to walk in you. Hallelujah. I've got to stop here today, but we're going to continue from this very spot tomorrow. Have the best day ever. Bye-bye.